of Kick Book Nation. This is your boy Kick Book Kick up in the house. Talking about some Chicago Bears football. Man, so there's a speculation. What are the Bears going to do with their number one draft pick in the first round? Um, there's rumors going around, you know, on Twitter saying, what are we going to do with that number one pick? What is Brian Pauls going to do? And, you know, if it wasn't for me, I would not drop down to number f under five. Because you want to stay in the top four um, in the draft, you know, top four. So when you, if you drop down further down in the draft, you're going to lose on Jalen Carter and you're going to lose on Will Anderson. And, you know, and there's been, there's a rumor that's going around saying that the, the, the Colts are in, you know, they're in. They already have a package deal for the Chicago Bears. Now, this rumor is coming from Dave Kaplan. He's a sports writer from Chicago. And he's saying that the Colts are committed to, you know, get their, uh, their, number, one, their number one quarterback. You know, they had they fell like three time two times they had um Phil you know Phil they they had um Carson Wentz and that didn't work out and that lasted a long, at least one year and so then they got rid got uh, um Ted Phil you know um the guy from Ryan Ryan guy from Atlanta Georgia um from the Falcons and R R R R Phillips and he did you know sucked the guy from Atlanta and, uh, and they had to go to Nick Falls and Nick Falls is just trash so and you know um yeah they want to get their man and you know CJ Shrud he had a decision you know to make if he's gonna come out into the draft because you know um so yeah today is Monday and this was the day when he was going to make his decision. If he's going to come back, if he's going to go back to school, or he's going to enter the draft. So, yeah, um, yeah, and so then he decided that, um, he's going to declare to go in the draft. And you would say, is this a good thing or a bad thing for the Bears? And the bad thing, it is bad because there's going to be more uh, competition now. Because you got three of the, you know, the best quarterbacks out there. And, you know, that these teams are not going to want to um, make a trade with the Chicago Bears. Because then they, you know. But then, if we do, you know, then uh, in a way, it is kind of still good no matter what. Because you're going to get a lot of bulk, a lot of draft picks and stuff. Like, but, like I said, with that... Colts, um, thing. I heard that they were gonna give us Michael Pittman and a couple draft picks in there. I, he didn't specifically say what are the draft picks, but um, you imagine two number one, twos or three number ones and couple number twos and that stuff. But I'm not. Uh, I don't know what he's what they're gonna give. But um, yeah, if. My choice is in between the Colts and the Houston Texans. Those are the two teams that I, that I want to deal with, you know, because they, you know, um, Houston, they have to come out with a better offer from the, if the Colts are offered that big deal, because, you know, the Colts of Aubrey Michael Pittman, and then, you know, he's been in the league for three years, and, um, for two years, he had 900 receivings, and then in this year, he had over at least a, th a thousand um, yards. So you imagine, and that was with Carson Wentz and um, Philip River, Philip Rivers. You know, so you imagine how good he would be with Justin Fields. You know, um, so um, but yeah, I know that everybody wanted to get Devontae Adams or. Hopkins, but those guys are in, are in the prime of their careers, and they're old. They're over 30 years old, and Michael Pittman, he is 25 years old, so he fits in line up for the um, 
the Bears, you know, because the Bears. So, um, yeah, I know those two guys are very, you know, very, you want Devontae Adams or you want Hopkins, but they're old, you know, and they're not going to, you know, they're not going to get any younger. So, um, I might as well go with the young guy, you know, that he's going to last. But, um, you know, so, um, yeah, I, I love that move. And the Houston um, Texans, you know, if they give us two number one picks, you know, they give us their number two first round pick, which is the second pick in the draft. And then they give us our number 12 pick. I think that is, uh, in the because they have two number ones in the in the first round. You know, I'm saying we could find a good wide receiver for Justin Fields. You know, a good somebody really really good in the first round. But um, yeah, and then and and I also saw another video saying that we should trade down all the way to the with the Carolina Panthers in this and I say. No way, because then if you do go further down, we're gonna lose uh, Jalen Carter, Will Anderson. We're gonna lose and those two guys, and those guys are generational players. We just like we're gonna pass on those guys like we passed on Errol, Aaron Donald, you know, uh, we, and that's like and that's like getting Khalil Mack in the draft, you know. If you pass on those guys. We don't want you no. Know, so I know that it's very intriguing to get a lot of picks, but man, it's like it's a hope and a crap shoot, and you're just hoping that, that these guys hit, and these are prospects, you know. Um, so you're hoping that, that they, you know, be what you want them to be. Um, so I mean, I mean, it sounds too good to be true because you know like sounds really really good you know with the draft picks a lot of drink you get a lot of draft picks if you go all the way down and below and, and i think 10 um you know um but you're risking and you know risking that they might not even hit because you know look at last year um brian paul's um his some of his picks didn't work out look at they drafted Vel Bell, um, Bella Jones Jr. in the third round, and dude, and it's sec I think it was in the third round or, or second round. I'm not sure, really sure. Remember, but um, yeah, he he cost us a couple games, and you know he fumbled the ball, and you know, I mean, and that was Ryan Poles' draft that choice, you know, and um, some a lot of those guys that he drafted in last year. They're nothing spectacular. There's nobody spectacular like a oh, wow, well, like a wow well factor. So um, yeah, I know. We, I think you can hit on a Brisker and another some other guys, but um, yeah. So, but if you get Jalen Carter and Will Anderson, oh, that's a that is oh. so um, yeah. So my as I say said. The guy, the teams that I want to work with, anybody that's under the fourth round, you know, with the fourth pick. So it's between um, Houston and the Colts and uh, um, the Colts. And I think maybe um, you could say Seattle, too, if you wanted, if they decide to go to the quarterback. But you know, we know damn sure the Cardinals are not going to draft the quarterback. You know that so then that's the only thing we have to worry about is that uh, um the Cardinals will take one of those guys you know you know Carter or well Anderson you know if they decide not to go for the quarter quarterback you know um but I don't know so man we have a long way to go we're gonna hear about a lot of rooms go around what are the Bears going to do with that number one draft? We have a long way, and we're not even to the, I think it's like, um, free agency is in the beginning of March. So, um, then we have to wait for the combine, and then after the combine, 
comes to the draft in April, and that's like in the middle of April, um, with the, you know, the draft, so, um, it's going to be a long process to get it, and, um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think, leave me a comment below, um, you know, and if you're a Bears fan, subscribe to the channel, and I'll bring you the Bears, Bears news updated, and that stuff, but yeah, it looks very bright for the Bears. We got a new, as I say, we got, this is going to be a second, um, practically a brand new general manager. Well, this will be his second season, but this is going to be the season that, um, this is going to be his draft picks, you know, if they're going to hit and they, and you know, we got a new coach, but hopefully he's got to turn it around because, you know, we only won three games last year, but um, yeah. So and then we got a new team president, and it's been time. And it's like it's been over, over two, almost two decades. It's been over two decades, you know, with Ted Phillips running the show, show, and running the money, you know, with the for the McCaskies and that stuff. And he's a penis salesman. And he could go to North Carolina to take care of his own farm, you know, um, peanut farm. So now this new guy that they got, Bears guy, he was definitely have the McCaskies, you know, get the new stadium done, you know, because his track record is like he worked with the Minnesota Vikings to get their new stadium and that stuff. So and then and, and like I said. He also was there to help the, the people that transaction, for, you know, to buy the Minnesota Vikings, you know, the, their ownership. So if the McCaskies decide to leave, you know, sell the team, he knows what to do, you know. So, yeah, it looks very bright for the Chicago Bears. I know that, you know, it's going to take a long process. I know, you know, I did when my baseball team... I had to deal with it, you know, with the pains and the, you know, and we're gonna get, you know, there to there. We're gonna get there. Um, it's it's not a oh, uh, it's not a, it's a it's a long process to get to where we want to get. So it may, maybe take a couple years, you know, to get to the Super Bowl. But if he, if Ryan Poles does get with these guys and they help us out and he gets, you know, when he, we got all of the cash space, you know, we have a lot of money. So hopefully he uses that money wisely and get the right guys to help Justin Fields, you know. Um, so, um, cause just, you know, and then you're going to have to hear about this. Is Ryan Poles going to take a quarterback? And, you know, decide to take a quarterback. And we have to hear that, you know. And I know a lot of Bears fans are going to hate that. That, um, You know, what are they thinking, you know, that he's going to take, get a quarterback of that he, that he, his own quarterback, you know, the quarterback, you know. But, um, yeah, because Justin Field was not his draft pick. He just, um... You know, he just um was given Justin Fields, you know. He had no decision over over it, so it, it's not his guy, you know. But yeah, so but yeah, it looked bright for the Bears and it, it looks and I um, mean now you're gonna be talking about the Chicago Bears are gonna be all over the news, you know, my everybody's gonna be talking about it. and it's about damn time, you know, because we Bears fans have been suffering since 85. Now, I have not been so optimistic for uh, NFL season since probably, you know, um, well, the most thing when I was the most excited was probably that year when they almost went to the Super Bowl. When they were supposed, well, they said they were going to make it to the Super Bowl. There was that Mad Nagy year when we had it, um, and then we were we were supposed to go to the Super Bowl and everybody picked us, you know. And then look what happens. We got bounced out in, I think it was in the first round. Um, or I'm not, 
first round or something like we lost to Philadelphia in 2017 that was the most uh, but I was for the NFL season you know and then uh, I mean that uh, and I was highly disappointed but dude I hope that I am next year it is gonna be bright for the Bears so yeah just hit the like button and subscribe to the you to King Pookie Nation Army. This is your boy King Pookie, and I'll see you in the next video. Bear down, Chicago Bears fans.